Al, I'm telling you, it doesn't matter that they won the Stanley Cup. I mean, this is only a two-year deal. The, the Devils could end up leaving New Jersey. Come on, they've been here 13 years. You can't get rid of the Devils. Oh, yes, you can. If you kill a chicken and spin our own three times. <laughs> Kennedy, I need a quote on the Burnside murder. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, his name was Burnside, and he was murdered. <laughs> hey, Rogelski, can you give me anything on the Burnside murder? Look, Melanie, uh, I can't talk right now. <laughs> Hey, Rogelski, what's with the black cloud? Me? I'm fine. All blue sky here. Look, sunshine. Yes? Oh, sorry. My mother always called me sunshine. Uh... Is there a problem, officer? Well, if you must know, Stacy, the girl I've been dating, we broke up last night. Oh, gee, that's, that's too bad. She was gorgeous. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, Rogelski. What happened? Well, it's, uh... It's kind of a sexual thing. <laughs> no, no, I, I can't talk about it. We're back at her place. Lights were low. Flipped on a retrospective on the Ottoman Empire. You know, it was romantic. And Stacy whispers in my ear, I want your body. For what, science? She wanted to have sex with me. For what, science? <laughs> Rogelski, relax. I am sure that every man here can admit to having a performance problem at some point in his life. Is that my phone? People say that love will stay. Maybe today is the day. This time it just feels right Maybe tonight's the night Now, it may seem impossible But I'm ready to take the chance I believe lovers' stars are uncrossable Cause I've moved my share of rubber tree plants People say that love will stay Maybe today's the day Now wait a minute, Rogelski you broke up with your girlfriend because she wanted to have sex with you? Gee, I, you know, I don't get it. You know, wanted sex and break up, they just don't go together. No, you don't get it. It's just that I choose not to have sex now. I'm celibate. Celibate? Yeah, I'm celibate too. Since 7.15 this morning. <laughs> You're serious, aren't you? Yes, I am. Regelski. Is that an Amish name? <laughs> Go ahead, poke fun. But I'm committed to saving myself for that one true special love. My last physical encounter with a woman? Five years ago. Five years? Well, I think that's very sweet. Careful! He's gonna blow! <laughs> Let me tell you guys something. Obsessing about sex tends to cloud your mind. Makes you lose focus. Am I the only one here who believes that? Huh? Oh, sorry, Rogelski. I was thinking about something else. <laughs> Wait a minute, Rogelski. You, you, you take a woman to dinner. Mm -hmm. you, you see a movie. I mean, then what? Where's the closure? Kennedy, you're such an ape. You probably still base a relationship on scent. Oh, no, I... <laughs> I do not. Legs are important, too. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're talking no contact whatsoever? Now, tell me. A kiss can be just as intimate as the actual act of making love? Wait a minute. I'm wrong. I'm really wrong. But a kiss can still be very intimate. That is so refreshing. You know, it's nice to know there's a man out there in the world that's not in such a big hurry to get your clothes off who actually cares about what you're saying instead of constantly undressing you in his head. Knock it off! You know, you are obviously the only man in this room who understands the true meaning of love and romance. Ah, uh, well, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you saying that it doesn't take heat to make fire? Well, some of us believe that a man should get to know a woman before clubbing her over the head and dragging her back to the cave for sex. You are a kind and gentle soul. Stay true to yourself. Bye.
why don't you just club her over the head and call it a day? You can never find a parking spot around here anymore. Did the wind destroy my hair? Looks the same to me. No. You're learning. Hey, listen. Can I keep Mickey for the long weekend? Robert is taking us to Florida. Florida? Isn't that kind of far? He wants to take Mickey to Disney World. Disney World? What kind of place is that for a kid? Aw, Tony, Robert's just trying to get along with Mickey, you know, establish a relationship with him. Well, don't you think he's going a little overboard? I mean, first the Giants jacket and, and now Disney World? I mean... I mean, when I was a kid, I would have been, I would have been happy with just a, a, a Gold Mets bumper sticker. Tony, you're gonna have to get used to this because who knows, someday Robert may be Mickey's stepfather. <laughs> Jeez, look what the wind did to your hair. What's the matter, Tony? Trouble at home? Oh, this guy that's dating Lucy, he's all over my son. He's buying him things and taking him to NASA. Making me look bad. Oh, come on, you're a god in Mickey's eyes. Yeah, well, God can't afford space camp right now. <laughs> Things are changing, Al. I mean, I, f I feel like I'm losing my son. Hey, where are you going? Begin to sound like you need a hug here. I figure it's time for me to go. <laughs> Tony, I don't know what to do. I can't get her out of my head. Who? Oh. Melanie. I went to sleep. Melanie. I woke up. Melanie. I loofed Melanie. I'm thinking about asking her out. Oh, that's, that's a bad idea, Rogelski. I mean, she, she, she doesn't go out with guys like us, you know, uh, cops. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get it. You got dibs on her, right? <laughs> dibs? What, what are we, choosing up sides for stickball here? No, I don't have dibs on anyone. You heard her yesterday. We think the same things. Our hearts beat to the same drum. Right. Look, look, Rigelski, she, she's a blue-blooded debutante from the Ivy League. I mean, you want my advice? You find yourself a nice, polite Jersey girl who doesn't like sex. Could take a while. Hey, Dad. Hey, hey, look who's here, everybody. Hey, your pal. Yes. What are you doing here? I'm your son. <laughs> no, seriously, what, what are you doing here? Dad, I need a favor. Hey, Mickey, I cannot take another mug shot of you. Your mother's gonna kill me. No, we're having career day on Friday, and I was wondering if you'd come and speak to my class. Me? Yeah, you. You want me to speak at the class? Well, I'd be honored. Thanks, Dad. Look, Mom's waiting at home. I'll see you later. Okay. Oh. Hey, Mick, thanks for asking me, Mickey. <laughs> I'm gonna be a good speaker there, Mick. I'll be a good speaker. Did you hear that? Ah, ah. Ah. Well, Mickey just asked me to speak in front of his class. He wants to show the old man off. Tony Kennedy has got Dr. Bob on the run. <laughs> You're happy now. Okay, yes, that, that's great. Thank you. Melanie? Yeah. Hi. Um, I was wondering if, and it's okay if you say no, because that's a conventional wisdom and what I expect. Um, you know, either way, I'll be fine. Uh, Rogelski, mm -hmm. are you asking me out? Pretty much. I'd love to. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce Bachelorette number one. She's a spunky little number who's looking for a sweet, sensitive man who in his spare time is also a monk. Don't start, Kennedy. No, no, come on, come on. You have that uh, post-date with a celibate guy glow. <laughs> tell us, tell us, uh, what, what happened last night? You know, it's really none of your business. But, if you must know, we had a very nice dinner in Manhattan, and then he took me to see Itzhak Perlman. Oh, Lincoln Center. No, he knows where he lives. We just sort of peeked in the window. It was so spontaneous, so 
Brigelski. <laughs> Never laid a glove on you, huh? You know, Detective, it was utterly refreshing to go out on a date and not have to worry about all that sexual tension. Oh, yeah, 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 I know what you mean. I know what you mean. You know, that, that last electric moment before you kiss someone for the first time, the little hairs on the back of your neck rising, your lips moving together slowly like magnets, and you can just taste the kiss, even though it hasn't happened. Yeah. There was none of that. Oh, lucky you. More time to watch Itzhak wax his bill. Hey, you. Hey, yourself. Morning, Officer Rogelski. Tony. Last night was, uh, wow. I thought so, too. Listen, um... Friends of the Hoboken Public Library is sponsoring a, uh, uh, a screening and discussion of the Battleship Potemkin. So, um, I got a couple, well, you know, I, I didn't know if maybe you... Rogelski? Hey, you. Sounds terrific. And then maybe after that, I'll take you to see Beverly Sills. Oh, you're in luck. I hear tonight she's playing strip poker with the three tenors. Bring your folks down. All toys are half off because every day is play day at Roy's Toys. Yay! Okay, everyone, I'd like to introduce you to Mickey's father, Mr. Canetti. He's a detective for the Hoboken Police Department. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. It's great to be here. And uh, as Mrs. Raymond said, I'm, uh, I'm a detective. And, and my job... My job involves solving crimes. <laughs> and that means examining evidence. <laughs> and that means asking a lot of questions. <laughs> and that means being a good listener. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Can we see your gun? Uh, I'm afraid not, son. You see, a gun is a very dangerous weapon. Yes. Have you ever been in a high-speed car chase? Yes, I have. Was there a big crash or anything? Uh, actually, the guy just ran out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, yes, young lady, and, and may I say, that is a very pretty dress you're wearing. Thank you. How many people have you shot? <laughs> uh, well, actually, I, I never shot anyone. <laughs> this is weak. Uh, uh, oh, no, no, no. I, I, I'm glad I never shot anyone. I wouldn't want to shoot anyone, you know. I, the only thing I ever shot was a dog. You know? What? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. But, but it, it, was a, it was a rabid dog. He was, he was sick. He was foaming at the mouth. He, he, he was a bad dog. He was bad. Clarence, I think now would be an excellent time for an early recess. Yes! Yes! Well... At least I got you an early recess. Yeah, I noticed. Uh, you know, police work isn't always like you see on TV, you know? Hey, listen, Mickey. I'm never going to be rich. And I'm never going to be on a first-name basis with any of the New York Giants. I'm just a cop. I I'm proud of being a cop, and I just hope that that's okay with you. It's always been okay with me. I can't speak for the rest of my class, but... <laughs> I'm glad you haven't shot anybody, Dad. Thanks. That makes two of us, pal. You know, I was shot at a couple of times. Really? Yeah, but the guy was a terrible shot. <laughs> Miss me. <laughs> man, that is so cool. Hey, guys! My old man almost got blown away! Cool! Oh, hey, hey, kids! Well, wait till I tell you about the time I was thrown from a moving car! Wow! Oh, I'm a hit. <laughs> You're working late. Yeah, I got this. Uh, what are you still doing here? Oh, uh, Rogelski's picking me up in 15 minutes. Oh. <laughs> hey, listen, Melanie, I'm, I'm, I'm glad it's working out between the two of you. I mean, you know, everybody wants something different out of a relationship. Some of us way different. <laughs> but um, I do hope you're happy. 
Oh, well, thanks. I appreciate that. Well, good night. Okay, good night. <laughs> Was there something else? Well, go ahead. He's driving me crazy! Oh, he's so sensitive and so considerate and so bizarre. Would this be the refreshing lack of sexual tension part? Oh, screw the sexual tension. If I hear one more Shakespearean sonnet, one more moonlit night staring at the constellations, one more hey you, I'm gonna rip his throat out! You gotta help me. Oh, gee, you know, I'd like to. I really would, but... You know, I, I have to hear those magic words. Please help me? Not those. Oh, no, don't do this to me. Okay, okay. You were right. It takes heat to make fire. And yet, and yet I don't feel totally satisfied. Oh, what more do you want? Do the little teapot song. Are you out of your mind? Okay, I wave the teapot song. Look, you gotta help me. I don't want to hurt his feelings. What am I gonna do? It's easy. It's easy. You gotta get him to break up with you. Well, how? Jump his bones. <laughs> I'm telling you, he'll drop you like a rock. I can't do that. Sure you can. Just be that bad girl we both know you are. Why did I even think you'd help me? Come on, shake that groove thing. <laughs> and right next to Cassiopeia is Ursa Minor. <laughs> and there's Orion's belt. And right over there is... The Big Dipper. That's right. <laughs> okay, you're doing much better than last night. <sighs> Hey, you. <laughs> Penny for your thoughts? Rogelski? Hmm? Why don't we just turn on some music? <sighs> there. Isn't this nice? Mm-hmm. Boy, is Jupiter high in the sky tonight. Nagelski. Huh? No more talking. Mm -hmm. It's quiet time. Quiet. You know, uh, we've shared so much in the last two weeks that I would really like to share more. Got some corn nuts in the glove compartment. I meant on a more personal level. Oh. 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 Your skin is so smooth. I wax. <laughs> Makes me more aerodynamic. Rogelski. Huh? I want you. I want you now. But Melanie. Please don't make me beg. Mel Melanie! 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 I guess... It's time! You! Hallway! Now! Well, since you're asking so nicely... He wants me! Who? Rogelski! He wants me! I, I, I made that move like you suggested and, and, and he turned into Mickey Rourke! <laughs> He thinks I'm the one he's been waiting for. Don't you dare laugh. No, oh, no, I, I'm not laughing. I'm just, I'm just happy for the both of you. 
Yeah, well, if I hadn't pretended to have food poisoning, who knows what would have happened? Oh, I do, I do. <laughs> oh, God, there he is. This was your idea. Get me out of this. Melanie. Hey, you, are uh, you feeling better? Oh, yeah, thanks. Great. See you tonight. Uh, Rogowski, uh, I think we need to talk. You're a really sweet guy. Oh, no. I knew it. You two have a thing, and I got in the middle of it. Oh, no. Well, no, actually, no, yes, it. we do. Well, I, uh... I, I was I was kind of interested in, in her until I found out about her past. Her past. My past? Oh, come on, Melanie. Welcome home, boys of Desert Storm Clifford. Kennedy! I don't understand. She's got kind of a reputation. I don't believe it. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah, why don't you tell them about that incident at uh, your Christmas party last year? Oh. Well, he doesn't need to hear about that. <laughs> I think he does. Well, uh, it involved mistletoe and a copy machine. <laughs> and, uh... Bobby Guvanelli. <laughs> the guy from the cleaning crew... Uh-huh. Hey, it was Christmas. <laughs> Melanie, I... I thought we felt the same way about love. About saving ourselves for the right person. No. Oh. <laughs> so I, uh... I guess this was a mistake, you and me. I hope that we can still be friends. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hey, hey. <laughs> I don't want to get you started. Well, there he goes. The last of a dying breed. Yeah. A man with integrity. Whom you now admit is not your type. Oh, and I suppose that you know what my type is. I got a pretty good idea. In your dreams, Kennedy. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You thought I was talking about me? In your dreams, Clifford. 